might be the most highly anticipated bout of the night. Jake Varner ranked number one in the nation out of Iowa State against Roger Kish. Second ranked wrestler from Minnesota at 184. Kish wanted a dual meet 7-2 last season, then 5-2 in a battle at the national duels, but Varner got revenge in the NCAA semifinals, beating Kish 4-2 in sudden victory. He slowed the pace down that match, but you know, he looks like he's coming to wrestle here today. He's out here moving really good. Boy, he reminds me a lot of his coach, Kale Sanderson. Similar size, similar haircut, and, and most importantly, similar body motions. The way he body fakes and come, bangs on the head in and out. You know he's in there sparring with Sanderson all the time, in addition to getting a lot of personal coaching. So it's neat to see the reflection of Kale Sanderson's style in his protege, Jake Varner. Varner ended up losing to Northwestern's Jake Herbert in the NCAA championship. Kish second at the NCAAs as a sophomore and then third at the national tournament last year after that semifinal loss to Varner. Indeed. Now Kish is really good at the reshot, just like Dustin Schlater is. Kish actually goes in on ankle picks off the reshot, whereas Schlater does single legs typically. But uh, in the NCAAs, Varner didn't take a lot of offense. He, he pretty much shut things down, stayed calm. And that really changed tempo, so Kish is going to have to you know, decide what he wants to do here. He, he can't rely on Varner coming to him. He's going to have to look for some openings. So far, I think Varner's controlling the ties. They're both kind of hand fight feeling each other out. Kish has got really good ankle picks, but you've got to create motion to get an ankle pick or get a reshot. Kind of ironic, Kale, that's Kale Sanderson's move for the ankle pick. So far, Varner's shutting, shutting down his offense well, shutting down. Kish's offense. Kish out of Lapeer, Michigan. Varner out of Bakersfield, California. Kish 37 and 3 overall last year. 12 wins via fall. Varner 29 and 7, but on the edge. Out of bounds, no points. And there is Kale Sanderson. Varner was the first Iowa State freshman since his head coach to make it to the NCAA final. Of course, Kale Sanderson, uh, the legend may never be topped. 159-0, four-time unbeaten NCAA champ, Olympic gold medalist in 2004. And hey, as if there wasn't enough on the resume, National Coach of the Year last year for helping uh, Iowa State to a second place finish at the national tournament in his first season at the helm. Yeah, Cale did a really good job picking up with, du with Bob Douglas. He had assisted Bobby for a long time. He got a lot of good young recruits in there and was able to get some good chemistry going. And he's good at the good thing. And he's done great with Varner. And you know, the, the near take down there, look at that. beautiful flurry there. But not, not over yet. He's got to pull it in hard. See, he made a mistake there. He should have jerked it now, he had two things working against him, being on the edge and being out of time, and Kish couldn't overcome both. So we remain scoreless after a period as Kale Sanderson looks on. Yeah, I still, I still think he should have jerked in real hard instead of lunging out. But, um, you know, the near takedown by Varner was an ankle pick. It was a Kale Sanderson ankle pick, but he w went a little too high at it. He didn't quite get the heel like he wanted to. Subtleties, details matter. If, if you don't catch that heel and get the guy come, moving back a little bit, the time the timing is very important. Varner's trying to ride hard, but Kish is almost out. He's got a half and a wrist. Kish, Kish better not let up down there. Varner is getting nasty on top. I've seen Kish get ridden before. I've seen last year in the national duels, Ben Askren moved up a weight and rode him some. I see in, in high school, him and Phil Davis, who's up next, Phil Davis rode Kish for a whole period. So if Kish doesn't get away quickly, he struggles a bottom. So let's see what happens here on the restart. Let's see if Kish can get a good start of the whistle. We mentioned All-Star last year. Jake Herbert took it to Kish with a 10-2 win in Dallas. But Varner right now is square the focus of the Minnesota Golden Gopher. I'd say in general, Minnesota has to get better on bottom. If there's a weakness to the national championship team, it's bottom. You've seen Ryder get handled on bottom a little bit. I, I'd say one way if you're, somebody was going to pull an upset on Dustin Schlater, hold him down would be a step in the right direction. Dustin knew that. He was really conscientious to get away from Trello with very good hand control. And uh, just right up and down the line, you know, the improvement areas. Manny Rivera, another top Minnesota guy, 
great on his feet, but struggles on bottom at times. And here Kish has given up over a minute of riding time so far. And we talked about that too with, with teams having big time dual meets early in the going here in the season. We saw both of Hofstra's wrestlers coming out of the gate. Would you equate that to already having some tough competition early in the season, their success here at the All-Star? Might have some, it's hard to say. I think a lot of it is just that those two came together, they came with their coach, their similar weights, they were excited. I think it's a big advantage to come with your buddy at the same weight. And uh, it's a big opportunity. You, you said very explicitly that that was the first Hofstra rep since Nick Gallo. That was, that was over 20 years ago. Nick Gallo is now uh, an ASICS representative. He's one of the leaders in ASICS wrestling for our sport now. And he was the coach at Hofstra for a while. I mean, it's been a long time coming. So I'm sure the Hofstra boys were excited and motivated. And they both came out with a lot of energy and adrenaline. Well, here at the end of this second period, Roger Kish gets ridden for the entire two minutes. Also a stall warning on Kish as well. So we'll track that as we go to the third. I think he's gonna let him go. He consulted with Coach Morgan, Marty Morgan, the assistant coach of Minnesota in a corner. And he, he, he kind of looked indifferent. He, you know, he's gonna float a little bit, but I don't see him hold him down. He's not gonna try to eat the riding time. So Kish is gonna have to pick up the pace on his feet and show the ability to take Marty down. Well, one point picked up by Varner, so he's got the one nothing advantage. And He's got the opportunity possibly to hold on to riding time as well. So Kish is going to need to take down a back point, something to work in his favor offensively. Oh, Varner likes that left underhook. He's controlling the ties, Jason. Kish really hasn't got much offense going. Varner's not trying to score right now. He's controlling the collar. He's controlling the wrist. He's controlling the left underhook. He's doing a heck of a job. Kish really isn't showing the ability. I talked to Kish yesterday. He said for him to score, he's got to move Varner more. And right now, Varner looks too big and strong. He's not moving him. Not a lot of offensive movement. A couple of times, Kish has tried to work at the edge, but gotten nothing to show for it earlier in this bout at 184. Right now, Varner hanging on to the one point lead and you can add riding time as well. He's now got that locked up. Kish needs offense, trying to get in. You know, that was his chance. He was in deep. He's in deep. But well, this is an unusual tie up. They're, they're both, Kish has got to force something though. That was Kish's great opportunity. He didn't even come close to finishing though. Varner's not gonna give nothing. Varner's just staying solid. There was the ankle pick, there's the underhook by Varner. He likes that position, the reverse headlock cruncher. He, he, I bet you he crushes a lot of opponents with that move right there, but against Kiss, he's just using it to control the tie. And he doesn't need to crush him because he's got him where he wants him, behind. Varner on top and gonna make it stand up with the point for riding time. It's a two nothing win and hope. Oh, little fisticuffs after time has expired. And maybe that's a message sent for a little bit later on this season. So Varner gets a 2 nothing win. They do shake hands and a little stare down. These guys could be seeing each other later on down the line. Varner beats Kish for the second time in a row last year at the national tournament. And now to start off the new season at the NWCA All-Star Classic. Win for Varner. And maybe a message sent as well by both wrestlers. You know, Varner started that. That was a little cheap shot by Varner. He instigated that. That was unnecessary. Well, Varner the winner. Back with more from UG 